the area's most accurate forecast, Storm Tracker 59. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Storm Tracker 59 meteorologist Mike Slifer. We are live at Grandview right now, where we are getting ready for a prescribed burn. And part of the reason that it's happening today is because of the weather. Let's start by talking about temperatures. Take a look at the temperatures across the region. We started the day off in the 30s and the 40s, and we have since warmed up tremendously. We will keep this warming trend around. We should end the day in the low 70s, could even see a run for the mid 70s in some of the Coalfields towns. So that's what we're dealing with as far as temperatures goes. And on the radar, we are also clear. Another important factor when it comes to these prescribed burns. Can't have any rain if you want to be out there burning things, right? Well, the Storm Tracker 59 HD Dual Live Doppler, totally clear. Not a thing to talk about on the radar. We've been in a dry spell for the past two and a half weeks, and it looks like that dry spell is going to continue for the next few. So, more dry, sunny weather on the way. I'm looking up right now. There's only a couple of clouds in the sky, plenty of blue blue sky out there that will be the case for the rest of the day here is your planner for today we'll top the day off again around 71 degrees could see a run for the mid 70s in some of the coal fields towns another day of just sunshine comfortable temperatures light winds out of the southeast another important factor to consider when it comes to these prescribed burns i was talking to one of the national park service firefighters they said that a Wind out of the south is preferable in a southwest if we can manage it, but they said they'll work with southeast today. Another important factor is the relative humidity, and while I don't have that queued up here, I can tell you that 35 to 50 percent is what they look for, and that's the range that we will be in for the rest of the day. What we're looking at now is a temperature trend for the next week. We slowly see things warm up. By Thursday, we're at 77 degrees, still feeling almost like summer out there. We see the chance for a shower or two Friday and Saturday. That's where those temperatures dip. But they rebound on Sunday back to 75 with sunny skies. And Predictor just reiterates the fact that we're dry, no rain to talk about. If we step through Predictor here, you'll notice things are dry. Winds out of the southeast eventually shifting to be out of the south, and that will keep warming things up, increasing the humidity just a little bit. But even with this moist flow, things are dry. With all the dry weather around, that just means that if you're burning anything, keep an eye on burn regulations. Those are important things to remember. So let's take a look at that 10-day forecast right now. We see temperatures in the 60s climbing to the 70s this afternoon. Tomorrow, we climb a little bit further and then a little bit further. And then on Thursday, we hit our peak at 77 degrees, average for this time of year 68. We drop back down into the low 70s for Friday and Saturday, mid 70s again for Sunday, and looking forward to the start of next weekend at the bottom of your screen. We see those temperatures still sitting in the 70s with a chance for some showers, and we actually could see temperatures take a tumble after that. So, Megan and Katie, while we've been enjoying this summer-like weather and enjoying the sunshine out here, we do have a few rain chances in the forecast, which is something we need, and we also will see temperatures eventually take a turn to be cooler. All right, thanks a lot, Mike. Looking pretty nice out there this Monday afternoon. All right, let's hope it stays that way for the week ahead. Thanks, mm -hmm. Mike. Coming up.